Tanya, thank you. Robinson County Fire Departments are stationed at some of the closed roads just to make sure people aren't driving around those barricades. And as local officials continue to watch area rivers and their flooding impacts, meteorologist Jenna Warner has now been keeping an eye on those, and we want to check in with her for the latest. Well, that's right. And the way that our area rivers flow, a lot of this is now flowing down from North Carolina, who also saw a lot of rainfall from tropical storm Debbie last week and more rainfall from that stalled cold front that brought us rain over the weekend and continues to bring us showers and storms. So with that being said, there's more trickling down in our latest look at where we are currently with our area river gauges. All of our area rivers right now are in some sort of flood stage right now. The Little PD River at Gallivans Ferry and the Lumber River at Lumberton are both in major flood stage. Right now, the Lumber River at Lumberton is expected to crest for Tuesday, but its crest is going to be about four to five feet lower than what we saw in Hurricane Matthew. But the Conway Waccamaw River gauge also is forecast to reach major flood stage, and that won't be until the middle of next week or next Monday, I should say. So lots of area rivers still rising, and even those that are falling will fall very slowly, so there won't be a lot of noticeable changes as those rivers stay pretty much steady. And with all of that in mind, that means that area river banks and swamplands will still be high this week, so these reminders cannot be said enough. Never drive into a flooded roadway. Flooded waters on roadways hide a lot of hazards such as debris or even the depth of the road or if that road is washed out. So definitely as we head through the week, we'll keep you updated on the latest forecast for those area rivers.